wanted to start off by saying congratulations on this brand new EP. I've had a chance to sit down and take a listen to it, and it's absolutely amazing. So congratulations. Thank you. Yeah, it's been it's been a long time coming for us. So um, it's, the reception's been great, though. So yeah, that that, that means a lot, though. Thanks, Dave. So guys, yeah, tell thanks, us thanks. tell us a little bit about the band. How did you guys first start out? Because I understand you guys started out in high school. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, you want to take so, that one, Adrian? Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, so we sort of started off as a sort of band of mates in high school, um, sort of playing uh, covers of Metallica, Pantera, uh, Slipknot and Lamb of God. And... Um, yeah, eventually we sort of moved from uh, Southwest Country to uh, to Melbourne and sort of reformed, and um, then it's sort of been a, a you know long sort of struggle over the last sort of ten years to sort of uh, replace members that have dropped out and um, sort of put some uh, material together and something that we we're all happy with and, and ready to release. Awesome. So tell us a little bit about the name Vault Hill. Where did that name come from? Morgs, I'll let you take that one. Yeah, sure. So uh, basically, uh, in Picton, um, there was a, a family ancestral vault there, and uh, we were we were just visiting through and, uh, and 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 checking it out and and learning a bit about the vaults, and um, we we learned that it had been desecrated. So vandals had got in there. Um, you could actually you used to be able to walk down into the vault. Um, but because the vandals had got in there and, and um, yeah, desecrated it, uh, it had been sealed. And we went up, like, the band had been running for a little while and we hadn't decided on a name. And, uh, yeah, that was, um, I think it was our, our mum sort of su- that suggested it because we were with her at the time. So, oh, well, what about Bolt Hill as a name? And to that, uh, that just sort of struck a chord with us. And we thought, well, you know, pay, paying tribute to our... Um, to our family, and uh, it's, it's a, a pretty, pretty metal um, <clears throat> theme. So let's 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 roll with that. And uh, yeah, it's been that ever since. We have sort of, uh, you know, because it's been so long um, uh, since we first formed, and uh, over the years, you know, it's been a revolving door of, of members. Um, we have sort of, yeah, contemplated rebranding and that sort of thing but i've always just come back to yes yeah, sticking with vault hill so but in, in a nutshell yeah that's how we, how we stumbled across the name now i said before that the ep sounds absolutely amazing tell us a little bit uh, about this album have these been tracks that you guys have been working on for years how has this all come together yeah some of these songs um we've been working on for yeah, like several years. Uh, like Significant Figures was one of the first songs we ever sort of wrote as a band. Um, I remember sitting down with um, our original guitarist and, and our best mate, Lockie, um, and we sort of came up the, with some of the riffs to that song, but then obviously over, you know, sort of revolving door of, of many members um, and just influences within you know, the music scene, um, a lot of the songs have sort of just really evolved. Um so there still are some original riffs in there, but yeah, um, a lot of external influences um, and also us change as musicians. Um, the songs really have sort of uh, grown in, in, into their own. Um, and, and what kind of themes can we expect these tracks to be written about? Like, is there is there a, a theme running through the EP or um, are these more personal kind of tracks? So, yeah, with these tracks, I mean, they're... I guess isolated themes. I mean, the political uh, in nature, um, or, or well, most of them, three of the the, the four tracks um, that are on there. Um, yeah, so I guess we we do like to, well, I sort of certainly like to, to center the lyrics around uh, issues that are um, you know concerning and important to me. Um, um, the woods are burning. Uh, is focused around, or written around, indefinite detention, and how that's still a, uh, I guess the, you know, the death of the soul. What what happens to, to someone who is uh, confined in detention, and uh, especially uh, of, of no, you know, um, for not committing any crime, just trying to, to flee persecution. So um, that's that's 
one of the tracks, uh, significant figures, um, one that Adrian was just talking about, it's just about the, the, the problem of, of capitalism and the, I guess, the values that um, a capitalist system tends to breed and um, how that can uh, just be very destructive, I think, to, you know, fundamental, you know, human values of caring and, and empathy. Um and then uh, we've got uh, the Killing Fields as well. Uh, it's the the last track on the EP that's uh, focused around the Cambodian genocide. So um, I, I had a trip to to Cambodia a few years ago, <coughs> and uh, yeah, it was just uh, that that's just painting you know telling the story of the Cambodian people, what they went through, how systematically you know Pol Pot. Uh, eradicated, uh, I guess, the the intellectual uh, part of the population uh, to gain greater control over them. Um, and then I guess the, yeah, just uh, the, the sadness and, and, and tragedy of that. The, the other track, uh, sort of, which sort of, sort of stands out um, from those themes, um, is actually just written about, you know, um, a, I guess those friends that we might um, or might form good friendships with, but end up betraying us. Um, and it's called, it's called Mr. Chameleon, and it's really about those yeah people who are constantly changing their colours uh, to, to fit in. And um, yeah, so that, that that one's a little bit different in, in, in its theme. Like I said, these tracks are absolutely amazing, and they all come together to form a, an excellent EP. How frustrating has the last couple of years been for you guys? You've been sitting on this great music and been wanting to get the band out there, but everything's been in lockdown, so you haven't been able to do shows or anything like that. How have you guys spent the last couple of years? Yeah, it certainly, it certainly has been frustrating, I guess. Um, we try to really sort of focus on pre-production and just use that time that we were sort of physically separated from each other and that we couldn't jam and rehearse to um, just really pull apart the riffs um, and sort of really work on them, work on the song structures, make sure everything was really flowing, and um, and also just, you know, really explore the, the lyrics um, and sort of some vocal melodies as well, something that was pretty new to us. Um, so although it was really frustrating that we sort of really, you know, we had to sit on this music, we couldn't release it, we couldn't also uh, start planning shows, we just sort of tried to make... Yeah, positive from, uh, from everything and uh, use the time as effectively as we really could. Now, you've got the EP launched tomorrow night. Uh, how excited are you guys about being able to get out there and finally launch it, but also be able to play in front of a live audience again? It feels amazing. Uh, so excited. Uh, just really pumped to get back out there and, uh, yeah, just to really launch this EP, but just also just to be back on stage and feel that energy and yeah so for all the listeners out there what can we expect from a vault hill show what do you guys like live well i guess it, it remains to be seen doesn't it <laughs> um, <laughs> look uh look we we'll be working yeah working hard to deliver a really high energy set and um look we're we're just going to be really enjoying ourselves i think um it, it is a momentous occasion um the ep look we, we had recorded this EP once before and uh, we just came back with it and we weren't happy with the drums that we ended up recording so we ended up doing the, the whole thing again so it, it has been quite a quite a process so um, look there's a lot of our our friends that are coming down who have uh, you know been following this project for a very long time um, and they, we know they're all really excited to see us play and I think I think a lot of people are curious too to see you know um, what we can deliver live after you know so long and and um, yeah I think I think you know we're really looking forward to it and I think uh, a lot of the you know our, our friends and, and you know uh, people that have checked out the EP are, are looking forward to it too. Well, guys, I know a lot of our listeners are going to fall in love with this EP as soon as they take a listen to it. So I guess the big question is, where can they grab a copy of the EP from? Uh, it's available on, on all digital uh, streaming services, so Spotify, Apple Music, uh, SoundCloud, 
iTunes, Amazon, everything. Awesome. Well, what would you guys like to say to everybody out there, not only before they go out and grab a copy of the EP, but to anybody who's thinking about heading along tomorrow night as well? Yeah, look, in, in, enjoy it. I uh, hope, hope you enjoy the, the tracks, uh, all the, the amount of time and, and energy that's gone into it. Um, yeah, I just you know, wrap your ears around it and, and uh, in, enjoy. And in terms of the, the show tomorrow night, look, just thank you for coming down and, and celebrating with us. Um, look, it's going to be a hell of a night. There's some fantastic uh, other bands playing. I mean, we're opening up the show um, for, for Deadweight 80. Um, but there's some Adelaide bands playing as well. Um, and, uh, yeah, yeah, definitely, uh, worth checking out each and every single one of them.